Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. My name is Overlaw and today I'll be going over all of the features of the clamp gizmo and I'll be showing you what you can do with it. Most of the time the clamp gizmo is used to make a so-called custom weapon and I'll give you an example to that too. But I'll also show you some other cool features of it. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. If you want to cover anything that has a standard hand position, like these glow sticks for example, with something that was made with shapes, then you can use the clamp gizmo to connect both elements, and here's how. So let's say you've made a cool gun, and now you want to make it fire. First thing you want to make sure that the invention is set to decoration, and it isn't grabbable. Then after that, if you notice that your invention is set off by the grid or anything like that, you can simply align it using the grid and then attach it to the tip of your clamp gizmo. After that, you can pick out the prop that you want to use. I'm using the paintball pistol and then you simply align it to the body of your invention and move it into place. After you've made sure that it's in the correct position, you wire it to the body of the clamp gizmo. And there you have it. It should be attached now and you have your custom weapon. Now you know how the main functions of the gizmo work. But as you can see right here, there's a value you can change. This is to temporarily drop the clamped item from following it. So if the value is set to 1, the element will drop until the value is set back to 0. It will either stay where it is or drop depending on if it's affected by physics or not. A good example for this is this trophy cabinet. The trophy is only physical and grabbable when I open it by pressing this button. Anyways, that's all there is to it. I hope this small tutorial helped you, and if it didn't and you have any questions, please ask in the comments down below, and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.